I'm sure you've heard of the International Space Station, or ISS. The space station is in what we call low Earth orbit, so it can be seen from the surface of the Earth with the naked eye. Um, it's only about 350 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. That's 190 miles, and it travels an average speed of 27 thousand seven hundred kilometers per hour which is over seventeen thousand miles per hour this means that astronauts on the space station see 15 sunrises every day but have you ever seen images of astronauts on the space station one thing that you might notice is that they float so you would think that g must be zero right the acceleration due to gravity should be zero but we know that it can't ever be zero. So then it must be very, very small, right? Let's find out. The occupants of the space station appear to be weightless. They float. So we're expecting that the strength of Earth's gravitational field is very close to zero. So let's determine that strength. The Earth's mass is 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, and its radius is 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters. The International Space Station is 350 kilometers above the surface, which is 3.5 times 10 to the 5th meters. So first let's calculate R. So remember, R is capital R plus H. So the distance to the center of the Earth would be the radius of the Earth plus the height of the space station. So that is 6.4 times 10 to the 6th meters plus 3.5 times 10 to the 5th meters. So now to add exponents, we have to make sure they're both the same. So then this 3.5 times 10 to the 5th should become 0.3 times 10 to the 6th. Now we can add them. So now R will be 6.5. 75 times 10 to the 6th meters. So now we can put in our equation for G. So G is equal to big G M over R squared. 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meters squared over kilogram squared times 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms divided by 6.75 times 10 to the 6 meters squared. So separate our numbers. 6.67 times 6 divided by 6.75 squared times 10 to the negative 11th, 10 to the 24th divided by 10 to the 6 squared, which we know is 10 to the 12th. So here we get 0.878 times 10 to the first power. So move our decimal place over and make this 0. And we get 8.78 meters per second squared. So 8.8 8.78 meters per second squared. And on Earth, on the surface of Earth, it is 9.8 meters per second squared. Not much of a difference. But these astronauts float. They look like they're weightless. Yet the acceleration due to gravity on the space station is almost the same as what it is here on Earth. So why do you think that is? We're about to find out.